Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, if you're not six feet underground right now, you know what today is. It's Fun Day Friday. The new and improved Fun Day Friday. You gosh darn right, co-founder Ray Carnes. That's right, We've got baby. him here with us. He's here with us all day. So do not turn the dial or, or get off or scroll or however we do it. On yeah, the internet. Don't scroll. Don't scroll. On the World Hit Wide Web. Hit the button right now. Ray Carnes is here. But yes, he said it. He said it. He said a mouthful. It's the new Fun Day Friday. Now, the old Fun Day Friday was just cooking. It was super cool. It was super awesome. Super laid back. But the new Fun Day Friday is going to be filled with a lot more information. There's going to be a lot of, uh, of uh, pre-recorded beautiful videos and we're also going live tutorials absolutely tutorials it's gonna be a little bit different hopefully it's gonna be a video that you are proud to share with your friends and relatives so we welcome you to the new fun day Friday of course it is National Alaska Day is anybody watching from Alaska that would be cool hey it's National Alaska Day hey if you're watching from Alaska make sure you put that in the comment section and give us your favorite dad joke hey, oh how about that I got a dad joke do you I was telling them earlier, I saved it for you guys. I called this joke into a radio station when I was in fourth grade. Now, we have not heard this dad joke. This is a straight up Ray Corner's dad One joke. One morning, I was getting told. ready for school. Called this in. All right. What did the mother bullet say to the father bullet? Oh, man. I can't think of anything, Ray. I think I'm going to have a BB. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Man, way to start off a Thank show. You. Oh, my God. But this is the new Fun Day Friday. We wanted to start at the beginning, okay? So this is all about getting your new grill, okay? Ray gave me the company credit card. He said I can go to rectechgrills.com and get anything I wanted and have it delivered in my house. So that's exactly what we did. The money magically came right back into my account. It just, it just so happened just to come <laughs> right back to his account. Um, but this is the new Fun Day Friday. You guys check out that whole process right now. They've already watched the video of it getting to my house already? Yeah. <gasps> Holy crap. And we're back. This we're is back. how you're going to get your Bull RT700 right here, everybody. It's normally going to be on a pallet. Of course, we've taken it off of the pallet. So let's get to unboxing this bad boy. Remember, the RT700 is going to have a six-year warranty, 40-pound hopper, stainless steel internals, ceramic ignition system, stainless steel barrel. I mean, this thing is bad to the bone. Turn it around for you guys. Thank you so much, Jordan, my lovely assistant. You guys ready for this? Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. And of course, we've packaged it nice and neat for you. Here's what you're working with. Bottom shelf comes out just like that. Take this protective plastic off. Nothing but the best for our customers. Look at this beautiful, beautiful powder coated lid. More protection just for our customers. And look at this. This thing is packed perfectly. None of these parts are going to shift, move, or damage or anything like that. The very first thing I'm going to pull out is going to be the drip bucket here. I love this little guy. Next, we got our legs. 
packaged amazingly. No scratches or anything like that. Got the 304 stainless steel grates there. Our amazing platinum tip probes. They come standard on that Smart Girl Technology PID computer. And this 304 stainless steel drip pan. 304 stainless steel hardware packet. <laughs> and it just keeps coming. 304 stainless steel deflector shield. Smokestack with 304 stainless steel cap. The iconic micro polished stainless steel bullhorn handles. These things are bad to the bone. Your leg brackets. I was about to say, I don't know what that is, but I know what it is. Stainless steel computer housing here. And of course, stainless steel pull bar handle. Guys, check out the inside of this bad boy. Nothing but quality. We got that ceramic ignition system, with that 304, 10 gauge, stainless steel fire pot that has never failed us. Got your light here. It comes standard. Got your lid. Let's take a look at that 40 pound hopper really quick. Man, that thing looks bad to the bone. Uh, now we're gonna go to uh, Chef Greg. Oh, excuse me, we're gonna go to an assembly video. You guys check that out, it's super, super easy. Check that out. together so quick didn't I did you guys see that that was absolutely amazing it took me like 45 seconds <laughs> now uh, it'll take normally two people uh, about an hour uh, 45 minutes to an hour to assemble um, but man doesn't this thing look absolutely beautiful with the new updated legs we've got the co-founder Ray Carnes here he's gonna go through all of the features and benefits of this beautiful amazing state-of-the-heart Number one, pellet grill. Let's tell you why the Rectech 700 the Bull is by far and away the most bang for your buck. It doesn't even get close. First of all, let's start back here with the 40 pound hopper. It features a, uh, a 32 inch lid. Now what's cool, this is a 304 stainless steel lid. Now there's a couple benefits to having a 40 pound hopper besides the obvious of just a lot of capacity. Okay. I mean, which it gives you 40 hours of cook time. But the fact that you got this 32 inch lid gives you a makeshift warming tray. I use it all the Ooh. time. I take a large aluminum uh, pans when I'm cooking for a large group of people. Uh, many times at my club, I'll take a pan of the vegetables that I cook, put them up here. I slide them forward, let them touch the grill body. Okay, to let keep them touch warm. the grill body. It's not Why? the actual lid that kind of keeps it warm. Right, but just let them touch the grill body okay. and it keeps it keeps it a little bit warm while I'm doing the meats. So you got a kind of a makeshift work surface there and warming tray if you use it. Okay. Also, because it's in the rear, the, it centers our auger, which is just where you want. I mean, it centers our auger in the grill so it doesn't have to carry the pellets as far. When you have to carry them from the end, it's a longer distance right. to travel, which more can go wrong, and it also puts more stress on the auger motor. So it's uh, really nice on the auger motor. And you want your fire pot to be in the center. It's just counterintuitive if you're looking at a, a grill and the fire pot is not in the center. Uh, it just makes uh, uh, sense. So. And the last thing, it gives you a nice buffer between the grill and uh, maybe a wall of your home or anything because it, it, oh, you don't yeah, have any absolutely. heat. So you get a nice buffer there. There's a heat buffer. Next, you've got the stainless steel, 304 stainless steel side shelf that houses your PID computer. What's cool about our Wi-Fi connectivity uh, is in your smart grill technology is you get four readings on this and you can hook it up to your smart device. You get your set point, your actual, your probe A and your probe B. You can also see that in your smart device. What's great about this grill is you can set it and it will maintain the temperature exactly. And it's also thinking on the fly. So it will make adjustments if the conditions outside change. And so this is truly. 
Guys, thank you so much for staying with us. We've had a little bit of technical difficulties. Of course, it's the new Fun Day Friday, so we're trying all kinds of crazy stuff. Make sure you stay tuned. But, Ray, Ray, you had an amazing point. Sorry about that. The uh, Internet is running a little slow today, and somebody kicked a wire. So uh, we went over. If you didn't miss this, you're truth. just joining in. <laughs> Make sure you go back to the previous sec segment. We went over the hopper our smart grill technology, the side shelf, and the 304 stainless steel on all the critical components. Ooh. Just to finish up, we have a uh, stainless steel body, which is incredible. There's no paint to fail, chip, or fade. Ugh. Some That's grills out there. That's the worst thing, right? And, and, and is to have this to grill is designed to, grill. to last a lifetime. Also, you'll notice that we've widened our stance, which is really cool because it gives you a wider shelf there at the bottom. Look at those uh, legs. To store things. Man. And uh, legs look great. it's uh, also a bit taller than the early Rectex, which is nice for us tall guys. Uh, even though some people doesn't bother, I like it this bit taller. No, it's great. Um, so it's got a bit wider stance. It wasn't a problem in the back. We had in the owner's manual not to move it if the hopper was full, but some people, of course, moved it when the hopper was full. If you hit a hard stop like mm -hmm. a seam in a sidewalk or something like that, it was a little bit back heavy. With this wider stance, uh, it, it, it's almost impossible yeah. to, to make that happen again. Um, we've got the push bars on the side, micro polished 304 stainless steel bullhorn handles, logos. Our hardware is 304 stainless steel. Stainless steel smokes that cap. And you know what? To me, I know it may seem silly to some, but we have a 304 stainless steel logo. It says a lot about the pride you take in your product all the way, all down, the way down to the logo. To the logo. We take this grill, we're proud of it, and it is by far, if you do your research, and you research the bang for your buck, you're not gonna find another grill out there that's gonna give you more bang for your buck than the Rectech. You will always find your way back to the Rectech when you do your research and read the reviews. It just is the most bang. We have eliminated the middle person. We've, we've done that for you, so it eliminates that extra step yeah. of uh, profit that somebody has to make, yep. so you get the most bang for your buck. Does it cost a little bit more? Uh, the rec tech, yes, Absolutely. but you're going to get a six year warranty and you get this guy for $11.98. That's free shipping to your door for $11.98. Not to mention, you get this guy's personal cell phone number. Now, I've been out to eat with him before and he has picked up the phone from a random number, just walked off from the table and came back 15 minutes later. Yeah, I just I walked a guy. Calls. I just walked a guy through cooking ribs. They absolutely know what they signed up for. So when you buy a grill from us, you're not just getting the best bang for your buck, but you're also getting the best customer service. You get Ray and Ron's personal cell phone number. You also get the general manager, Ben Lasaf's personal cell phone number. There's no one else out there in the world that's going to allow you to buy something from them and then give you their personal cell phone number nowhere else okay guys now now that we've got this bad boy assembled i mean it is bad to the bone look at that beautiful stance we got to complete our burn in as well as a good first cook so chef greg is coming in right now he's coming in hot and he's going to show you a great example for a first cook as well as your burn in let's see him What's up, Rectech family? I'm Chef Greg, and today I'm gonna to show you how to burn in your brand new Bull RT700. This process is the exact same whether you are a new owner to a Trailblazer, a Stampede, or the BFG. So the first step in this burn-in process is to remove your grates and drip pan. And since this is a new grill, I went ahead and washed our grill grates with some mild detergent. Uh, warm, soapy water works great. It's also a fantastic time to familiarize yourself with the parts of the grill. Inside the grill, you have your heat deflector. This is gonna evenly distribute all of that heat across your grill. And you'll notice your hot flash ceramic ignition system. It's also a good time to put a small handful of pellets inside that fire pot to prime it for the burn-in. Now we'll install that heat deflector over top of the fire pot. So to get ready for our first cook, we're gonna save ourselves a step later. We'll go ahead and line that drip pan with aluminum foil. This way, we are ready to go after our burn-in. Now make sure when you're lining the pan with aluminum foil, you don't go over top the sides of the drip pan and avoid any airflow. You also want to make sure that when you put that drip pan back into that grill, you center it within that air gap. Now let's go ahead and install our 304 stainless steel grill grates. We're gonna go ahead and fill our hopper with the best pellets out there. That's gonna be the ultimate blend, red oak, white oak, and hickory. This 40 pound bag will fit perfectly inside that hopper.
Now for the easiest step in the burn-in process, and probably the reason you purchased your Rectech grill, convenience. We're gonna go ahead and turn our grill on and set the temperature to 400 and let this grill burn in for one hour. Now, as this is the first time you've turned on your Rectech grill, you might hear some noises that you're not used to. You might hear some clunking and clanging. Those are pellets being distributed through your auger tube into your fire pot. You also might hear your blower fan run and maybe a little motor whine, and that's gonna be your auger motor, again, pushing those pellets into your fire pot. During the burn-in, you'll see a nice blue clean smoke exit out of your smokestack. You also might observe your temperatures approach that 400 and overshoot that 400 degree mark. Don't worry, it's more than likely burning up the residual pellets that we primed the fire pot with. Here's a really good chef tip for you. If you wanna keep your drip bucket clean, grab a spare spaghetti sauce jar, put it in there during your cook. When your cook's over, put the cap on, throw it out, got a clean bucket. All right, now that our burn-in is complete, it's really important for us to consider our first cook. Ultimately, you wanna cook something really fatty. That's gonna help kind of season the inside of that grill, splatter fat and grease around, and that's gonna ultimately lead towards better tasting food. For me, my first cook is always chicken thighs. One, they're super cheap at the grocery store, they contain a lot of fat, and quite frankly, they're delicious. You wanna make sure to avoid putting food over your air gap, as it's more likely to burn. We'll let these chicken thighs cook at 400 degrees for about 45 to 60 minutes until they've reached an internal about 175 degrees. We've seasoned these chicken thighs with Colton's Freaking Greek and Dirty Girl Bloody Mary Rub, both available at rectechgrills.com. This first cook is smelling amazing on the Bull RT700. If you guys wanna see us cook more fun stuff, Follow us after hours where Jody and I do some really fun stuff on Facebook every Wednesday at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But for now, it's time to eat. Check out these chicken thighs. Holy moly, those chicken thighs looked off the chain. Um, that was a great first cook, Ray, wasn't it? Ben. Ben, oh, excuse me, this is Ben. <laughs> no, my bad. This is Ray. It's Ray Carnes, co founder of Rectech Grills. I'm Jody Flanagan, your Rectech Grills expert. There's nobody else out here that has cooked on a Rectech Grill more than me, okay? Um, yes, but bad. we're talking about seasoning your grill, okay? If you look on the inside here, uh, we've got a good example of a first cook and a good season start. Did you see a lot of grease that splashed up on this bad boy? That really helps you start a good season on your grill. Seasoning is very, very important. The food that comes off of your grill 20 cooks into it is going to taste 20 times better than the food that came off of it first because it's just so perfect on the inside. It's like a cast iron pot. It gets better with age. It Absolutely. truly does. That's a very good point, Ray. I can't, I can't. Uh, hit the head, hit the nail on the head any better. Um, but right now, we really want to give you some tips and tricks uh, to set you up uh, for success. Okay, we really want you to knock the ball out of the park for your first five cooks and not have any issues whatsoever. Um, so, of course, one of my favorite things to tell folks is to make sure you keep your lid closed. It's a pellet grill, it's constantly registering the internal temperature on the inside. So, the more you keep the lid closed, the better the grill is going to act. With the exception of the bullseye and the wild side, they're a little different animal, but with course, uh, the course. Stampede, the Trailblazer, and the Bull and the BFG, of course, uh, that's very important. Mm -hmm. Keep the lid closed, let us do its thing. If you're looking, you're not cooking. That's the old right. saying goes. That's right. Make sure you keep up on your maintenance on your grill, okay? Uh, again, Ray was talking about earlier, it's a self-cleaning fire pot, and you only have to uh, clean it about 20 seconds a year, right, Ray? That's true. What I say is when you're changing your foil or scraping your drip pan, uh, you're in there anyways. What you want to do is just take two seconds, literally two seconds, reach into the fire pot, any excess ash that could be in there. Usually there's hardly any to grab. Uh, there's really none to grab. Grab any excess with your hand. It does not have to be spotless. Uh, throw it in the bottom of the grill. That is it. It takes two seconds. Literally. I do it about two, 10 times a year. 
And so that's 20 seconds. Yep. And I really, honestly, that's exaggerating. Honestly, I do it about five times a year. That's right. So uh, 20 seconds is being generous a year to service your fire pot because it is self-cleaning. That's a really, really good feature that a lot of people don't know about is our fire pot is actually self-cleaning during the shutdown cycle. Um, but again, with the maintenance, you really want to change your foil uh, about every four to five cooks. You want to cut down on the grease so you don't have any grease fires. And then uh, about every 120 pounds of pellets, you want to let your grill run empty of pellets. Uh, that way you can clean out any residual dust that may end up at the bottom of your auger and or hopper, you know, from just being in a bag. It's natural material. It breaks down over time. And I was going to talk about a little bit about changing foil and setting yourself up for success. And uh, I honestly change my foil before every cook. And uh, you don't necessarily have to if you're at smoking temperatures, but if you're going above the uh, flash point of grease, above 350, you know, it's a good idea to start off with clean foil. For example, if you cooked and smoked six butts on here or two uh, packer briskets, and then you smoke those for 12 hours, you're gonna have some grease build up. And the next day you Absolutely. crank this to full and you get up to 560 degrees, that is a recipe for a grease fire. <laughs> now what makes this ha um, easy is having some gloves. Um, because what makes it a pain is the fact that you're gonna get a little dirty. So these can be, you can get these at rectechgrills.com. They're $10 for a, a pack of 100. Uh, they also sell them at uh, Costco in the medical section right. at Costco and Sam's uh, if uh, you need them in a pinch. We sell them for 50% less at, at rectechgrills.com. Usually they're $10. Usually you can pick them up at the store for 20. Save yourself some money. That's right. And so changing your foil is important. It takes me 40 seconds to change the foil. So we're going to pre pretend this is a... Uh, um, soiled. I'm going to show you how quickly you could change this foil and how I do it. If this was soiled, I fold all the the bad uh, grease into a ball, and, he, and you that see way he I can it carry in. it inside and not drip any on the floor. I get a new piece of foil about 38 inches long. That's right. I put it inside the drip pan. I make one fold over because I want to keep this within the edges. And the reason I tell you this is because some people go up and over the edges and because of the, 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 the airflow convection within current. the convection currents within the um, Rectech, it can sometimes flare those edges and restrict a little bit of your airflow. I like to make one fold right here, keep it within the edges. That way I don't even risk the chance of restricting my airflow and then fold it the excess underneath and boom, you've got new foil on your um, drip pan replace it while I'm doing that. That's the time I reach into that fire pot uh, every four or five cooks. Mm -hmm. Any mm -hmm. excess ash, I throw it in the bottom and uh, clean and I clean out the bottom of the Rectech maybe about uh, once every six months, sometimes once every year. I do it once a year. Yeah, you don't have to do it often. Mm -hmm. It can build up this thick in the bottom of the Rectech. It's really not an issue until it gets so high that it can spill into, into the fire, fire pot. pot. That's right. Other, before that, it's not an issue. If anything, it's helping you because it's insulating the bottom of the Rectech. That's right, that's right. Um, ins I was just about to say that, it insulates it. And also, if you have any grease that does happen to miss the drip tray, um, that uh, ash is actually gonna help you clean that grease up just a little bit e easier. So a couple more tips for setting yourself up for success uh, is to make sure if you have any questions, ask us. You we're always available uh, via email, phone, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that stuff. If you have any questions, you know, you don't have to go to the forums. You don't have to go to Google. You can actually go right to the source. Give us a call right here at the Rectech Worldwide Headquarters, and we will be happy to answer any questions that, that you have. Uh, remember, use good meat. Um, you know, the key of, of eating well uh, is, is choosing the correct meat to use. Uh, so make sure that you're not using you know, any expired meat or any meat from the manager's section that, that is discounted, um, you're, you're less likely to have uh, good success with those types of meat. Also, use good fuel. You want to get a, uh, your pellets from a good, uh, reputable source like rectechgrills.com. We always use the ultimate blend pellet. That's red oak, white oak, hickory mixed together perfectly to create the perfect BTUs and the perfect smoke for all of your uh, food. They're available on Amazon as well. Oh, yeah. You can actually get them quicker and cheaper on Amazon. I hate right. saying that, but it's the truth. You're going to figure that out anyway. They've got that shipping game licked. Oh, man, Amazon. do they. Um, I, I like, instead of having the grease fall into my bucket, I like to use like a jam jar or a pickle jar. It's a, Sometimes people have pets 
And uh, if some of you have experienced this, the pet, the dogs particularly, want to get into that uh, grease bucket. Uh, a good idea, if you're like my family, you cook spaghetti at least once a, a month, uh, you could take that jar or a pickle jar and put it inside the grease bucket. Uh, that gives you, one, the ability to keep your bucket perfectly clean. And secondly, you can put the lid on that jar when you're done. Just remember to take the lid off the next time you cook or you're asking for a bigger mess. But uh, that gives you a way to, every time you cook spaghetti, put the new jar in there, throw that one away. You always have a clean bucket. Man, that's such a good tip. Uh, always use your searing kit on the right-hand side of your grill. Okay, the right hand side, uh, it, there's less uh, distance for the grease to, gr uh, to go to exit the grill when it does drip down. Uh, also, it's further away from your RTD so it doesn't screw up uh, with that PID algorithm. Um, it is normal for the grill to smoke after you shut it down, guys. Uh, once it uh, turns on the fan, once it turns on the auger uh, and cleans out that fire pot, there can still be a little bit of smolder in there, so do not worry about that. Your grill can and does smolder after shutdown, so don't freak out about that. Always, always, always use your deflector shield and drip pan. I can't tell you how many times somebody's called me with temperature issues and they're trying to grill a steak right over the fire pot. I can't tell you how many times that's happened. It's not going to work. The heat hits the RTD directly, confuses the computer. Mm -hmm. It was dialed in with all the components inside the grill. So all mm -hmm. you're doing is confusing the computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ray, uh, he likes to actually use a five gallon bucket uh, for uh, his pellets. Me, I'm lazy and I like to use the bag, um, but a five gallon bucket is a really, really good thing to get for yourself. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to Easier pour. to handle and pour. Uh, if you use the bag, sometimes you rip a, a hole and sometimes you could spill them. This is just makes it a little easier to handle. Mm -hmm. You could pour them in the bucket outside, put a lid on there, they stay nice and dry and it gives something, particularly uh, sometimes for my wife to pour oh, yeah. them into the hopper. It's Absolutely. a nice little trick. Always clean your grates off when the grill is hot if you can. If you remember, if you have a second, knock the excess off your grates while the grill is still hot after you're cooked. You'll have a much easier time cleaning yeah. those grates. And that goes for your light lens and the Bull RT700 as well. When it's a little bit warm, it's also a lot easier to clean uh, than it would be when it was cooled down. So, man, um, that I think we hit them all, Ray. That was awesome. So, we've um, done, Chef Greg has done his first cook. We want to take it to Chef John right now. Actually, I'm going to hit what? him with the, you hit him with the dad joke last segment. I want to hit him with the dad joke this segment. Let's do it, dad. Is that okay? It's going to be the dad joke of the week, I think. I have one more it. tip before the dad joke. No, let's do that. I just forgot. That's more important. I wanted to add one thing. Some people, uh, this is a very clean burn, and it's designed to be a co competition cooker and what judges like, professional judges like in competition. Mm -hmm. Some of you backyard guys want a heavy, heavy smoke. To each his own, there's nothing wrong with that in the world. If you want to add another layer of smoke flavor, you can take a handful of pellets and put them on top of your deflector shield or chunks of wood on top of the mm -hmm. deflector shield and they will smolder. It's a easy, free way to add another layer of smoke. Super, and super then easy. I am pumped about this dad joke. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so Ray, um, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but fish, you know, they have a, 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 uh, a way of paying for thing, a currency. So where do fish keep their money. Ooh, let me try to think of this one. Come on. Give I it don't to know. Me. Give it to me. Huh? A river bank. Ha! 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 <laughs> All right. That's right. All right. So now we're going to go with Chef John and do a little bit of reminiscing. <laughs> reminiscing. Chef John uh, wanted to show you guys uh, exactly, walk you through his exact first cook on the Rectech Bull RT700. I think he actually went out there to Outdoor Augusta and hung out with some of our friends. So you guys check that video out. Oh, this out. is cool video. Feels like the first time. It feels like the very first time, yeah. I'm Rectech Chef John. We're redoing the first cook I ever did on the RT700. Today I'm stopping by the grocery store to pick up some burgers. 
and heading out to outdoor Augusta at the Savannah River to relive my first Rec Tech burgers with my good friend Andy Colbert. Dude, what's up, buddy? How you doing, John? Good to see you, my friend. Andy. Man, that first cook. I remember coming out here was pretty much like a day like today. It was nice outside, it was a little warm, but it was yeah. nice being on the water. I didn't have anything to cook. I didn't even realize, you know, that I didn't have anything. And but you came through with those burgers. It was a perfect thing to cook for the first thing in your grill. We you seasoned up those grates really nice. The burgers put off a lot of fat, which helped season the inside of your cooker. It was mm -hmm. just, it was an all in all, it was a great time. And the grill pretty much did all the work. All I remember is really sitting around eating chips and drinking. Yeah beers it is amazing that you just set that thing and forget about it i mean, I mean it was it's awesome you it's describe awesome. the perfect day at the same time simultaneously describing the perfect grill i'm telling you andy <laughs> oh buddy dude these burgers came out ridiculous i mean it was they came out perfect it was so the first cook they were nice and fatty. They had the bacon inside of them. We seasoned them up with Ben's heifer dust. Mm. I mean, it totally takes me back to the first time we did these things, I really man. I feel like the, the new dimension is gonna blow my mind. I'm telling you right now, start building them up. Oh. Put a little of this on here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do In it correct. In a way that I could never. I'm gonna do it correct for you, no doubt about that. You take mustard on yours? Oh yeah. Okay, my man. A little mayo. Mm. A little dab, a little dab. Oh, it's looking righteous. Bro, Lord. get you, you some want, of you that. You want me to sink into this? Yeah, get you, some, get, you, no, get you some of that. Mm. What do you think, my friend? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Does it take you back? Whoa, <laughs> My man, that's what I'm talking about. I'm Rec Tech Chef John. We're redoing the first cook I ever did on the RT700. I'm saying quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Mm. Oh Lord. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Fun Day Friday. Be sure to tune in on Monday. We'll be doing Mix It Up Monday, 6 o'clock p.m. on Rec Tech Grill's Facebook page. It is going to be a great time. We'll have special mixologist Derek Wolfley coming in from the Indian Queen. Man, it makes me so thirsty just thinking about it. Oh, thank you, Madeline. Mm. I'm telling you, John has way too much with all of his buddies. He has too much fun, man. He cooks a lot of stuff at 420 degrees. It's the weirdest thing to me. Like yeah, everything, he cooks at 420 degrees. Should, uh, and that grill concerned. is straight up smoking all the time. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, but guys, if you don't know, uh, uh, another cool thing that we're keeping from the old Fun Day Fridays is we're actually uploading this entire episode onto YouTube. And you, yourself, can win a Rectech prize pack just by watching that whole entire video on Monday, okay? Um, last week's winner was Mr. Dustin English. Good job, Congratulations, Dustin. Dustin. We're not going to tell you how Dustin won. You have to go to YouTube and subscribe to the Rectech Reels YouTube page and watch that video. Now, Dustin, I want you to email Madeline. That's Madeline, M-A-D-E. L-I-N-E at rectechgrills.com and she will get you that prize pack of unmeasurable what is yeah, it? You, you, what can't, is it? Measure, you can't put it in speakable value. I keep priceless. messing that up. Priceless. It's priceless. Priceless. You can't buy what we're sending you. You, you can't buy it. Alright, but last week for the 100th Sunday Friday episode, you the winner of the wait, wild side. Oh. You out of the blue just gave away a wild Just side. gave away a wild side. And you, if you were watching last week's Monday Friday, you too could have participated. But this man, out of the blue, that's why you got to set your notifications. That way you know when we're going live because this man is nuts and he'll do anything. We have an app. All the names that participated, they go in the app. It randomly picks a winner. The winner of the wild side. Woo! I'm fired up. I'm ready. I'm ready. Tell me Ray. His Tell name me Ray. is Mark McGahey. Woo! Mark McGahey won the uh, wild side. Hey, Mark, uh, we will get in touch with you if you don't, but well, just send us a PM to Madeline, yes. Madeline, M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E, -E, at rectechgrills.com, and she will set it up where you can get your uh, Rectech Wild Side. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. The Rectech Re 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 Re
wild side is uh, 1798 delivered to your door free mark got one for free absolutely. congratulations absolutely mark. and mark we've been all up in your dms we've been reaching out to you on facebook so hit us up go all up in your dms you and answer back yeah man we've been trying to get in touch with mark for a hot minute now if you know mark uh, let him know y'all let mark know that he won and what mark did was he shared that video he loved that video all five of them because there were five segments, and he tagged his buddies in each and every one of those videos. That's why he won. And he liked the Wildside page. And, of course, he went and liked Rectech Wildside RT A850, Owners of America page out there. You guys go follow that. That is an amazing, yeah, amazing baby. group of folks that are using, that are uh, unleashing their primal urge to start fire. Fire! You know what I'm saying? Uh, but right now, we really want to talk about this Wi-Fi Wi pellet Wi Fi connectivity. Okay, guys, this smart grill technology PID computer is available to older model grills, RT680s. You guys can go to rectechgrills.com right now and get this controller. This controller comes standard with two meat probes. You can also hook this controller up to your home Wi Fi and, like Ray was saying earlier, control your grill from the Rectech Grills app. You can turn the grill up, down, on, or off from anywhere in the world, right, Ray? Ron turned on his grill from Japan. What? Turned on his grill from Japan. Just was there see. anybody home? His wife was Okay. Home. <laughs> I bet Margie <laughs> freaked out. <laughs> well, he called her and told her. <laughs> okay. Uh, but the most important part, the Wi-Fi and wi pellet Wi-Fi is an amazing, an amazing uh, piece of ingenuity. But really and truly what matters most in this controller is the smart grill technology PID algorithm. When you were talking about it earlier today, Ray, when we first started, nobody knew about PID. Nobody knew about PID and how amazing it was. You know, what's cool about PID, it keeps your cooks consistent. Any large brewery, like Anheuser-Busch, for example, they have all unlimited funds. So they're going to, of course, use the best temperature control when they're making, uh, brewing their beer. They use PID algorithms, a PID controller to brew their beer. Or even better example with unlimited funds is pharmaceutical companies. Ooh, when they make their pharma, uh, when they pharma. make... When they make their medications, they use PID controllers. That is what, the same technology that goes into this awesome grill. And another example is like bread companies, you know, like Bakers, Wonder. Yeah. Wonder has to, you know, have consistent results when they bake bread and they use PID controllers. Mm -hmm. That's precisely what the Rectech has. You're going to get the best technology available out there. It's frustrating to see some of these foreign. It, there are other grills out there with PID, but not in this price range. Well, they have a not PID, price, price but they range. haven't been around for 10 years to perfect it. That's right. That is the one thing that makes us different from every, uh, every other company out there that has the PID is because we started with it and Ray and Ron actually perfected it. The algorithm is the same. It really hasn't changed. It's changed a little bit just to make, you know, make it better for the customer. Um, but we have had it, and now everybody else has started f filing suit. Now everybody's getting it. It's kind of funny because when we got that ceramic ignition system, nobody else had it either. But now you see, starting to see everybody's having an upgrade for that ceramic ignition system. All of the competitors are really following Rectech. That's really what sets us apart. That makes us the authority in the pellet grill industry guys it's flattering really yeah no it's it gives me chills i've re literally got goosebumps right now thinking about multi 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 hundred million dollar companies out there following little old rec tech hmm, mm -hmm. hmm. there's something to be said about <laughs> that right Ray. congratulations on 10 years this year man well thanks for everything, man, that, is, that is a, we, that hey, is a we've got the greatest fans in the world honestly we couldn't do without we them. wouldn't be here, here we would them. not be it without uh, do what we do couldn't do it without you guys and that's the truth uh spreading the word and telling people and your friends and neighbors about what rec tech does and uh i thank you from the bottom of our heart we all do we talk about it in our meetings every time so yep. uh, thank you guys yep yep all uh, right now we've we've done a lot of fir cool first cooks now i want to hit you with a little bit of knowledge i want to hit you with a little bit uh a little bit from my man brent taylor from Two Green Ghost Chupacabra. We were in Memphis in May, and he got us some amazing, amazing steaks. Guys, check out this video right here. The Akshu cattle is the national treasure cattle of Japan. I mean, there was a small trade a deficit during the 70s, early 80s, where we went in and bought 15 of their national cattle, full full amount of 747. And then they went, the people that own them are the Beeman family, Ronald and Jordan Beeman. And they took it and now they breed them in Gonzales, Texas. And they have the Kirok Rishi, 
They have the F1 Akushi, which is an Akushi cow, a bull, pardon me, that's crossbred with a Charlet. It's rated uh, higher than prime. Higher than prime. Everything that comes out is prime or higher. Uh, very aggressive cow, best tasting cattle in the world. People that use it are like the Tennessee Titans, uh, high end restaurants. And then, of course, now with the health benefits of it, uh, it's going you know across nationwide because it's good for you. The fat dissipates in your hand at 98 degrees. So when you eat it, once it hits your bloodstream, it flushes through your system. It doesn't stay in your system. That's why it's called our grand beef. Wow. Man, we ate on those steaks for like three days straight out in Memphis awesome. and May. That Akiyushi, oh man, that, that beef was, you could literally cut it with a plastic spoon. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. I do want to send a special thank you to two gringos, uh, Chupacabra, my man out in Paris, uh, and Brent Taylor out there. We really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for dropping that knowledge on me, Memphis and May, and letting us taste those steaks. Ray, did you have a good time in Memphis? Had a ball, man. We had a, a blast. God. and. Uh, and it was great company and enjoyed meeting some of the fans. I just love I always everybody. enjoy uh, meeting the fans. Yeah, no, that was absolutely amazing. Guys, uh, don't forget to follow us on all social media and set your notifications. That way you know when we go live. That was a great first new Fun Day Friday episode. I'm glad you were here to share it with me. Just like that first Fun Day Friday episode. Just like the first one. Wouldn't bring it, it for back, the world. Baby. We're bringing it back. Uh, but don't forget, John, our man John, Chef John Pinnell, hits you with it hard every Monday with Mix It Up Mondays. He's usually got somebody that's easy on the eyes that joins him, if, if you know what I mean. He's got a guy this, this week, but that's okay. Um, no, just joking. <laughs> but he's always got a mixologist. From here in Augusta, Georgia, all of those guys, uh, at ladies and men, uh, are very knowledgeable about their drinks, and they're really, really good at what 6 they do. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yep. Every Monday. We do not miss a Monday. Don't forget, Chef Greg and myself, we start a me we uh, complete a meal from start to finish every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on the Facebook page. After Hours. That's called After Hours. Uh, and that's, and man, Chef Greg, I can't believe we didn't see him today. That was, that was crazy today. Uh, but we're missing Chef Greg and Chef John. Guys, uh, we're also keeping some things from Fun Day Friday. Uh, you can follow us behind the scenes on Twitter when we get done uh, right here on Facebook. Uh, another thing I'd like for you to do, if you could take the time, please share this uh, video. We really, really worked hard on uh, this first episode. We really want to share it with the world. And we're about to do a, we're remodeling a new facility. Mm -hmm. Just to let you know, we're going to do a lot of new things for you guys live and other videos when we get this new facility that's going to be in January when we're able to move in, but we've got a new professional kitchen, three outdoor kitchens. So we're excited about that. You're going to see a lot of new stuff. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited about that AC Ray cooking inside, oh, baby. Cooking inside <laughs> with a hood system. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. But guys, we've got a lot of stuff coming up. Hit that share button, hit that like button. Uh, ask any and all questions in the comments. Twitter right after this. We're going to go to Twitter right after this. But again, don't forget, we're still answering questions in the comments, uh, just like the old Fun Day Friday. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this Friday. Don't forget to join us every Friday because we don't miss an episode. We don't. We did it 100 last time. Um, and uh, don't forget the. Uh, Watch that 100th episode on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We thank you. We love you. We hope you have a great weekend. And once again, we'll see you at the Rectech. Thanks for everything. Rectech.